Hello from Oregon. So I am here in Southern Oregon. Roseburg and Sutherland are two of the towns nearby, but I am staying with my uncle and I am here at the Umpqua River to do some exploring and some photography and videography with the Nikon Z50. This is the 50 to 250 uh, zoom kit lens. It's one of two kit lenses that you can get with this camera. And yeah, we're gonna see what kind of wildlife we can find down by the river. So I've been using this Nikon Z50 for just a few days now, and it is taking some getting used to because it is a Nikon, and you know, the way that camera manufacturers like to structure their cameras is a little bit different, so the controls are often different. Another thing that I actually really don't like, uh, I don't know why they did this, but whenever you're using um, one of these two lenses, you actually have to twist it. It comes like in a locked position. So I'll show you what I mean here. When you power the camera on, it says, before taking photos, rotate the zoom ring to extend the lens. And until you do that, you can't see really anything clearly through your viewfinder. Take the front and just pop it out until it clicks. And then when you're done, you retract it. So I did start this off on a bit of a negative note, but overall I do think that, this, that the image quality coming out of this camera, both still photography and video quality, is just excellent. And also just looking through the viewfinder, whether you're using the LCD panel in the back or looking through this electric viewfinder here, everything looks really crisp. It's really easy to take accurate images. So I'm sure you all are curious about how this camera works as a vlogging camera. And there is added video functionality to this camera. It's pretty good. You can shoot 4K and slow motion. And another thing that I really like about it is this LCD screen on the back can turn into a selfie screen of sorts, but it is a little different than how Canon and Panasonic are doing it. So at first glance, I really thought that the Nikon Z50 was going to be a great vlogging camera because of that flip screen and because it's such a compact small camera. But it's really hard to make use of this flip screen that flips down because you really can't attach a tripod to this camera. So the best way to vlog with it is to just kind of grip it to the side there, which, you know, that is a way to hold this camera. It's not a total deal breaker, but yeah, this is a pretty difficult way to vlog with this camera. But since we're here, let's go ahead and see how vlogging is with the Nikon Z50. So besides the fact that you can't use a tripod with this camera if you want to take advantage of that flip screen, I think that it's really cool having this flip screen directly below the lens. The thing with using a Canon or Panasonic camera with the flip screen to the side is that I end up looking to the side all the time and it's pretty obvious to me that that's happening. Versus this way, I am looking maybe slightly below the lens but I'm still looking at the lens and it honestly looks pretty steady. So the Z50 does not have IBIS or in-body stabilization, but it does have some degree of digital IS. But the problem with not having that tripod is that your arm gets really tired really quickly, even though this is a relatively compact and small camera. So let me give the camera a rest and I'll get back to you in a second. Mm -hmm. 